uh, different issues facing the world today and also regional issues like you mentioned, uh, including what's happening in Afghanistan at the moment. And one, uh, one country that's got a keen interest in what is going on over there is Pakistan, which is right next door. And I'm joined by the Foreign Minister of Pakistan now, Shah Mahmood Qureshi. And we're going to talk to him about what he sees is happening in that region at the moment. Uh, Mr. Qureshi, uh, the US troops, NATO troops, are going to be withdrawing in September from Afghanistan. But at the moment, there seems to be an increase in violence from the Taliban. What's your assessment of the situation in Afghanistan? Is it ready at the moment for this withdrawal? Well, I'm concerned. I'm concerned uh, with the rising level of violence in Afghanistan. And this violence is not just uh, uh, linked to the Taliban. It goes beyond the Taliban. You know, uh, there are other forces, uh, other spoilers like Daesh, uh, like uh, spoilers within Afghanistan who are perhaps uh, not very keen on um, uh, peace and stability uh, because they have their own uh, designs and own motives. So it's a, it's a complicated situation. There are internal struggles going on within Afghanistan. Uh, then within the region, there are other conflicts that are impeding the economic growth and economic integration uh, of South Asia. For example, the Jammu and Kashmir dispute. Uh, the world, in my view, is uh, getting increasingly embroiled in the Great War competition and confrontation and people are being forced to take sides. Uh, that is a, a new complicated situation that we are dealing with. Uh, we still have the lingering uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic. It hasn't gone away and it will leave behind uh, implications, economic implications, financial implications. Are we ready for that? I'm not sure. So it's a, it's a complicated world that we are in. I think what uh, the Pakistan government said in the past about the situation with the peace process in Afghanistan is that it wouldn't want the US troops to withdraw unless there was progress in the peace talks between the government and the Taliban. So are you worried they're not keeping to schedule at the moment? What we had said was that they should withdraw, but the withdrawal should be uh, a responsible one. And what we were advocating along with the withdrawal, uh, we were very keen that the peace process advances in tandem with the withdrawal. What I am seeing is the withdrawal is taking place uh, at a fairly rapid pace, but the peace process is uh, moving ahead at a snail uh, pace. Uh, and that is, uh, there's a bit of disconnect over there, and that is of concern to me. Uh, what role can Pakistan play in all of this? Can it bring any pressure on the Taliban or any other groups that are fighting in Afghanistan to uh, pull back from confrontation, get them to talk in a maybe in a more sincere fashion? Well, Pakistan has been facilitating the peace process. Pakistan has been engaging with all regional, far, uh, regional powers at every forum, uh, you know, uh, whether it was the Doha process or the Istanbul process, the heart of Asia. Uh, the Moscow, uh, you know, uh, uh, format, uh, Pakistan has been engaged, constructively engaged for peace and stability. Uh, and we will continue to do so. But this is a shared responsibility. You cannot uh, uh, pass the buck towards Pakistan. Pakistan is one regional player. There are others. You know, there are global players. And there are other interests uh, that are... Uh, you know, paramount in the region. So it has to be a holistic approach and Pakistan will be a partner, a global partner in peace. One thing we know as well that's happening at the moment in Afghanistan, there seems to be a deal being made between Turkey and NATO troops in the US to take over security at Kabul International Airport. Turkey says it's spoken to Pakistan about that. What has Turkey said to you about it, and has Pakistan got a role in that particular operation? Well, I haven't spoken to the foreign minister about it yet. I'll be meeting him tomorrow, and let's see what he has to say. All right. Thank you very much, foreign minister of Pakistan. Thank you. Uh, so a very eventful year coming up for that particular region, Afghanistan, Pakistan, as U.S. troops withdraw in September, and whether 
Afghanistan is ready for that, we'll have to wait and see.